Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East 2. Last time, we started the game, and we explored Lance Village, and this time, we will explore the first dungeon. So, the first thing we want to do is... Well, I leveled up to level 4, about 4 off screen, just because I feel it's... You need to be level 6 before you do anything major in the dungeon, basically. So I acquired the Ancient Tablet. Incredible. So I'm going to be doing some stuff a bit different on this Let's Play. Mainly I'm going to be doing each video in two parts. I consider East 2 a much more difficult game than East 1. And I don't want to get to a point where, like, you know, I end up dying and there's a lot of progress. So each video will be recorded in two sections. I did it kind of one point in East 1, but... I feel this time it's definitely going to be a lot more videos, especially ones that are more combat focused. So, first thing I want to do before we enter the first part of the ruins is get to level 5. I will off screen to that. Alright, now at level 5, we want to head right into here. Into the root sanctuary of Tall. And we head into this door right here. I am Priestess. I am Priest Tadal. It is good that you have come, warrior. Disaster once again falls upon the land of East, and the demons appeared in the world below. So did they here in East. Who controls them resides within Solomon Drine. When you have brought each of the books of East to its rightful owner, the way there shall be opened to you. That all was bathed in holy light, and his wounds were healed. Anytime you are damaged, you can come to one of these sanctuaries in this dungeon. Now, later on, it's going to be useless, but... Anytime you're damaged, you can definitely come here and heal up. It'll be a really good idea. Oh, no. Cool. And now that we are level 6, you want to head out here. And go right over here and just attack this thing. And then you get the Rod of Divinity. Divinity. I don't know how that's actually pronounced. Go to your items and equip the Rod of Divinity. And go up here. The moment Adol touched the Rod of, to the Goddess statue, he felt a surge of energy course through his body. That right there was magic points. It won't do anything just yet. I'm going to equip the apples for now, just because I feel, you know, we're about to enter a dangerous part of the dungeon. Another thing, I don't know if I mentioned this before, this is why it's important to attack enemies from the side. So let's head back into the dungeon now. Okay, so right down here, we're gonna head back into the Rastian Mines. Well, not back. This is our first time in. Radical. And head into these mines right here. You might have noticed a jump there. I ended up dying in this room, and I was just like, I am not showing that. So head in this way, and you get the second book. I am Priest Tova. It is good that you have come, warrior. Just as Hadal bears with the fire, the magic of fire, I, the priest of wisdom, bear the magic of altar. Each of us can grant you a new power to aid you on your journey. You will need all six to strike the heart, the heart of evil. Alright, so, head back out. 
Yeah, I like how I didn't heed my own advice and ended up dying to this blob enemy right here. The blob enemies are a bit weird, though. So... Yeah, just keep heading up. I also recommend while you're in this dungeon, save as often as possible. Despite the fact you have all the sanctuaries here and stuff like that, it's still very possible that you're gonna die. Okay. Wrong one. This place is very confusing. Just need to mention that. Okay, cool. That's what I need. Found exactly what I was looking for. Cool. Acquire the Matok. Incredible. Okay, now we're already been there. Cool. And head up here. I think this is the way we want to go now. Yeah, we're right. Cool. Now that we're down this way, head back in this room right here. And. Cool. I am Priest Dobby. It is good that you've come, Warrior. When trouble arose in the land, East was lifted into the sky with a powerful magic. With it came the source of all demon kind, unbeknownst to those thereupon. Demons' area are per byproduct of magic itself. They are a flip side of the coin. With magic, there shall always be demons. Inexplorably, in this correlation, we need the goddesses. And so it falls upon you, Warrior, to find them. My power was healed, even though I have no HP. You may think that was a waste, it's not. Luckily. Um, oh shoot. I'll show you in a second. Luckily, even if... Let's go ahead and clip that. Luckily, even if you were to lose some damage, um, you should be okay. So you can come back here and just heal as many times as you want. There's no issue with that. I'm going to recommend saving. Saving is your friend in this game. I mean that. I think we want to go this way now, yeah? Is it up here where it is? No. Oh boy. Cool. Yeah. Back in my old place. Cool. Down here, yes, okay. And I believe you want to head up here. No, I have seen the room at some point. I don't remember. Is so it up here? No, I'm gonna off screen until we find it. Um, Alright, I think we are at the right place. Here we are, cool. You want to go here to your items. Take the mad talk you found. Has someone come to rescue me? You're not a demon, I hope. Adol introduced himself. I'm Flair Rawl, the doctor of Fromlands. Thank you for coming to my aid. I trust you received my letter? If you, you have a mad talk, you could use it to get through the fallen stones. I don't suppose you have one, though. I do have a mad talk, though. She's a good heart, that one, yeah. Fruit. 
But yeah, I would do anything to save Lilia's life, too. Like, if she was a real person, I'd do anything to save her life. Anyway. Let us continue our explorations for now. Or the same where the start again, of course. This dungeon is so confusing. This way. No, other way. This way. Cool, I know where we are now. Cool. Is this it? Is the one I haven't been through yet? No, I've been through there. Cool. Yeah, this place is just so poorly designed. Nope. I do know I am looking for something. We don't want to be here yet. It don't go here yet. No. No. Here it is. Go in here. I am Priest Gimma. It is good that you have come, warrior. As demons, we were born with the power of magic. We are pitiful creatures with no purpose in life, other than to fight every and eventually die. As there has been the case with all living beings, their existence is dictated by their parents. However, if you could speak with them, perhaps they would have more to say than expected. Power heal. Incredible. And then you head in here. I am Priest Mesa. It is good that you have come, warrior. 700 years ago, Yeast was transformed to a mastic arc, massive arc in the sky in hopes of escaping the threat of demons. As it summits of its Solomon Shrine, to reach it, you must climb through a wall of fire and, of course, the mode of lava. I thought I was surrounded by an ice ridge. Head back up real quick. Head down here. Here we are. I found it. It's exactly where I want to be. Okay. I'm going to say equip the apple. Cool. Here, you get the fire magic. This is the first of many magic tools in the game. You can change... How about doing that? There was a way to, anyway. Maybe I'm thinking about rings. It probably is rings I'm thinking about. Yeah, it's rings. Down here. Here, go this way. Yep. So head over this way, and I'm gonna cut recording here just because we are about to get to something kind of big, and I feel it's important to cut for now. All right. So now that I'm back, uh, just head into this door, and oh yeah, make sure your fire rod's equipped, and also. Equip this meat pie. I'm hoping not to need it, but here is our first boss. Fire magic. How to attack this boss? This boss isn't too difficult, but it requires good timing. Just make sure you are attacking it at the best possible angle. It's basically the hardest part of this boss is hitting it for sure. If 
for sure. So, keep yourself focused. Just keep hitting the boss in the stomach. Wait for an opening. Then counter, I guess. Well, do not head out. If you head out, you have to refight the whole boss. And yeah, you can leave the boss while you're facing it. Because you may not have the fire rod. And that's why they actually give you the option to leave. So if you don't have the fire rod, then yeah, leave. If you do have the fire rod, then stay in this room and kick its ass. Okay. Here crap. Okay. I'm doing okay. Now the closer you get to defeating it, the more it's gonna fire at you, yeah? Got it. Two level ups, nice. I'm gonna save again, just so we are level 13.